Good morning. Um, happy Cincy Payday. Today is May 9th, so the 9th of every month is normally when we get paid. Um, Cincy says that our payday is actually on the 10th, but normally I think that their payroll um, department processes it early for us as a little treat. Um, as pretty as typical, um, I've been with Cincy since July 2021. I've always been paid on the 9th, so or earlier because if the ninth fall, ninth falls on a Saturday or Sunday, I think they pay us on the that Friday before. So, fun fact for you there. And um, I wanted to go live, or well, I'm actually pre-recording this, but I'll share it later in the group. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't run out of time because I'm currently also working um, from her home. So I like just want to talk through some stuff. Um, with y'all and give you some support um, on the consultant front, you know, being the best consultant you can be. I've got some tips. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to title this video Sales 101. Okay, so most of us got into Cincy for money. Like, we're here to make a paycheck, paycheck because we're here to, like, that's my fake paycheck, right? It's got the Cincy logo. That's my goal paycheck. Right now, I'm shooting for $1,000 a month in commission from my sales and from building my team and helping y'all hit your goals because that money is not just from me, 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 me. It's about changing your lives too because I don't know if you've paid attention, but some of these superstar directors and, and all the other leaders in Cincy are making life-changing money. And they're changing their families' lives. They're changing their community's lives. There's one girl, Wendy Heath New Gas. I love watching her videos because she's so peppy. She is always doing fundraisers because she has so much to give now because she has been so diligent with her Scentsy business. And it's so amazing that like we have the opportunity in this whole like path of being a consultant. You're not just selling home fragrance products. You're enriching people's lives with this fragrance that we love. Clearly you love it because you joined. Um, if not, I don't know why you're here if you don't like the scents, but you've got to realize that this stuff is like amazing and it can really change lives. Um, so yeah, that's my intro to this. And then I just want to talk about some tips. So I think tip number one, um, I did take notes, so I'm just going to go off the cuff. Um, if you are still using candles or um, big box store warmers and wax or you're using other home fragrance products from other companies, I really think you should consider phasing that out. Um, and, you know, maybe use what you have left. Or if you've got, can for me, I have candles left from a very popular store. I have like maybe 12. I have them sitting in a drawer for emergencies when we have no power. That's what I'm going to be using my candles for because candles make me nervous. <laughs> the fire it just, it's, it makes me nervous. Um, and so I'm not going to throw them away and waste them, but I'm going to, you know, use them for other reasons. But when I want to enjoy home fragrance, personally, I'm using Scentsy because I love it. And it's, you know, I don't worry and I can change my wax as frequently as I want. And cause like, if you get bored of scents, you can change it so quickly. If you want to like let it cool and pop it out cause it's not done, you can change it like while it still has scents. Like, you know, it's just so much more versatile than candles because candles you have to like wait and blow it out and yada yada yada, you know? And if you don't have a candle you like, it's probably going to cost you $25 because candles are so expensive, but a, a bar of wax is $6. And if you don't like it, you can sell it back to your consultant or your consultant can swap it for you. So, you know, like there's more flexibility with our products, way more flexibility, but hang on. okay. So that's my first tip is phase out the products that you aren't using that are not Scentsy. Um, and here's my reasoning for that. <clears throat> Think about Michael Jordan. He's got shoes, right? He sells shoes. And he's the face of his brand, right? What, would he ever wear Yeezys? Would he ever wear Nikes? 
Oi. I think they might be Nikes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Would he wear shoes that he doesn't sell? No, Michael B. Jordan. Not Michael B. Jordan. Oh gosh. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Shit. <laughs> I know a little bit about basketball. Not a lot, clearly. But think about it. Like if you're your personal brand and you're selling something, why would you use a competing brand? It doesn't make sense. Um, it's kind of like a vegan getting on social media and saying, Hi, I'm vegan. Look at this tofu recipe I just made. It's amazing. You should try it. Oh, and while you're at it, buy my um, vegan cookbook. And um, that's a digital download, so have fun with that. And then they get off camera and they go eat a burger or they go eat bacon. Like, that's so hypocritical. It's not authentic. And if you haven't seen one of the top three values in Scentsy is authenticity. you got to believe in what you're selling. You've got to use what you're selling. And maybe you can argue with me. Maybe you agree with me. But if you're not seeing results, it's because you're not doing the activities you need to be doing. And you're not doing them effectively if you are. If you're saying, hey, I sell Scentsy. You should buy from me here from my website. And no one's buying. Do you think it's because maybe you're not being effective? You're not showing what you use and what you look. People want to know that it's got, you know, credibility in what you're selling. Um, and also, a lot of consumers want the thinking done for them. That's why word of mouth marketing is so powerful. Think about a new restaurant. If you go and eat at like, I don't know, a new steakhouse and they had the best fries, like truffle fries like this. Imagine that. You get on social media and you post about those truffle fries. I guarantee, like, it's going to influence your circle of friends or family to go eat at that restaurant because it's clearly good. You've already done the work to find that out, to figure out what's best on the menu, and then you've also done the work to share that with them. It's the same concept with Scentsy. You need to find things that are amazing, that you love, that you can support, and share that. Make it easy for people to, to believe that what they're buying from you is quality because it is high quality. You just gotta share it. <laughs> um, you know, like if you're not opening your mouth to talk about what you sell, then I don't wanna hear you complain when you're not making any money. I mean, that's how this works. You can't just post your link somewhere and think that somebody's gonna buy from you. People wanna trust you and if you're just throwing a link up there and a picture, it's not gonna work. You gotta share what you use. So, let me think if I can give any other sales tips. That's just something that's been weighing on my mind for a while. <laughs> and I want to make sure that um, y'all kind of get that idea in your head that people don't want to buy from fake people. And if you're not using the product, how are you going to sell it? <laughs> if I could, okay, I have an air purifier now. That was a big investment, right? But it's something that I really wanted because I have bad allergies. And it's from Scentsy, you know. I could, I haven't sold one at all to anybody else because I haven't used it. Um, I can sit there and post pictures of flyers and I have because I didn't have one yet of all the benefits and now I have one and I can post videos of it turning red when I sneeze or cough or um, the air kicks on, the central air kicks on and then it turns red because something in our air system is like blowing over it and it's noticing that there's particles that need to be cleaned like it's my first-hand experience that I can really kind of vouch for like people will view me as an expert kind of on what this product does and it's the same thing with anything you use if you're only using counter clean only talk about counter clean if you're only using wax and warmers only talk about wax and warmers you know you don't have to talk about the products that you don't use. I don't use the pet products. I don't have a pet, so I don't talk about it, like ever. I think I've maybe talked about the pet products three times, maybe, in the past almost 10 months. So, and that's just basic, for basic awareness. Um, so, I don't talk about things I don't use. Um, the laundry, I use a lot, the laundry products. So I talk about that all the time. 
I try to make videos about it on how easy it is, how it's safe for our washers, um, for the HE washers, <clears throat> and how good it smells. So, you know, you got to be the face of your city, as Jack Carlo says, or the face of your brand is what all the marketing teachers say. Um, just be you, you know, you don't have to change your lingo or you don't have to change your look and style um, when you're discussing what you sell. Be you. I mean, I've posted a couple times in my Facebook group and I say it like I'm not the most articulate person. If you know me, you know that. Um, I said like bruh in Facebook groups because I mean Facebook posts because that's what I talk. That's how I talk. Um, and I'm not going to like be like prissy and pristine. Um, and then when people meet me in person and they're like at my event sell buying Scentsy from me, I just, I'm honest. I'm like, what do you like? And I'm like, this one's good. You might not like this one, but try it anyway. Smell it. Um, and I talk about like, I had an event this past weekend. So a Mother's Day event I went to and this lady came over there and I let, she was smelling the um, pink cotton washer with. And she looked at me and she goes, and I was like, yeah, pink cotton has me in a chokehold. It, I, it's amazing. <laughs> that is such a weird thing to say. And then I said it because that's just how my brain works. But, um, you know, share what you like. I don't take things to shows. Like when I do vendor events, I don't take things that I don't like. Because I, like, I don't have any pet products to take. You see? I'm, maybe I'm missing out on a demographic, but I'm not being fake. So, um... But hopefully I'll be able to try it soon because we're about to get a fence and then my parents' house. Um, we're going to add a fence to my parents' house and then we're going to get a dog or cat. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. So just be yourself. And I don't want to be a dead horse. I feel like I've shared enough. If I think of any other sales 101 tips, I'll probably do a separate video. So, okay. Go out there. Be yourself. Enjoy Cincy and share it. It's life-changing whether you're sharing the opportunity or the product. Okay, bye.